Have you ever wondered how off level you are when you take a shot? Or how different accessories that you add to your bow might affect the impulse of your bow? I know I have in a lot of different cases, but there's no way to really tell about it. With Garmin Zero's built-in sensors, now I can tell how level I was after every shot. I can help identify any inconsistencies that I may have in my shooting form because of that. Keep this in mind, think about this. When you shoot, we want that little bubble to be perfectly level. That's our goal every time. But how can you really know? In your mind, you may think you can. With the Garmin Zero, it's gonna tell you if you're rolled a little left or a little right. Obviously, we wanna be zero, but this will help us work on our form. Also keep in mind that Garmin Zero also measures the amount of time your bow was vibrating at extreme levels. It does not register total amplitude or frequency of the vibration, only how long it exactly lasted. After each shot in practice mode, you'll see the impulse duration in milliseconds. For example, if you see 93 milliseconds, your bow was at maximum vibration for almost one-tenth of a second. Experiment with different setups to minimize this number or use it to compare your old bow to your new one. Another cool thing in there is you can look at how many arrows you're shooting in an entire season or in an entire session. You can basically look at this like a, a, a mileage counter on your vehicle. How many miles did you drive? Well, how many shots did you take? The Garmin Zero is going to be able to compile all that data for you, whether you want to store it after just one session or the entire year. And it's very simple to do whether you just want to reset it or let it run all year long. Thanks again for watching another in the series of the Garmin Zero videos. And be sure to check out all the others so you can learn more about how the Garmin Zero bow sights can help you shoot better.